Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn about different types of exceptions which could occur in your UiPath project and how to handle such exceptions. So let's get started. So here I have a workflow with me which is not yet designed to handle any exception. Let me show you the workflow steps. So the workflow steps is to launch Facebook application, type email ID, password and click on the login button. Let me quickly run this workflow to show you how it works. So the UiPath is going to launch Facebook application. Type email ID, password and click on the login button. So the workflow ran successfully. But what if any exception occurs during the execution of the workflow? Let's say that for some reason the browser crashes during the launch of the Facebook application. In such case, what will happen? Well, in such case, the UiPath will throw one exception and it will terminate the workflow without executing the further steps. So let me quickly run this project one more time. I will intentionally close the browser as soon as it gets launched. So let me first close this Facebook page and let's run this project one more time. So I'm going to close the browser as soon as the Facebook application gets launched. So I close the browser. Let's see what happens. So here you see the UiPath through this exception that is UiPath.core selector not found exception. It threw this exception at type email activity and it terminated the workflow without executing the further steps. So let me take this, let me capture this one for the future reference. So this is the error which occurred. Let's close this one. So we saw UiPath through the exception and it terminated the workflow without executing further steps. But this is not the expectation. The workflow must be designed in such a way that it handles the exception. That means the workflow should recover from the exception and do the further executions. So how to do that? How to design such workflow? So for that we are going to use the try catch activity. Let me tell you how to do that. So for that move to activities and you can search for try catch activity from here and drag this activity here and put your activities inside this try catch or else what you can do remove this one you can right click on the activities which you want to surround inside try catch right click over here and select the option surround with try catch so here you see all the activities got added inside this try block of this try catch activity so this try catch activity has three sections try catches and finally we'll look into detail into each of them one by one First, let's get started with this try block. This try block holds all the activities which are prone to error. So here all these activities which are there to launch Facebook and log into this Facebook application are prone to error. Error could occur in any of these activities. That's why we will add all these activities inside the try block. Now in case any exception occurs inside the try block, those exceptions will be handled inside the catches block. So let's look into the catches block. Here we have the option to add new catch. We have not added any catch here. So let's click on that. And as soon as you click on that, here we get a list of exceptions. We can choose from this list of exceptions. So here we have multiple types of exception and we have types here also. So if you click on browse for types, so here we have a list of exceptions. Now, first of all, we will select the exception which got occurred in our case. That was uipath.core.selector not found exception. So let me search for the selector not found exception from here. So here is the exception uipath.core.selector not found exception. So let's select this one and let's click on OK. And there could be multiple of other exceptions as well which could occur. So UiPath follows the concept of multiple catches. That means we can add multiple of exceptions inside the catches block which we will see a bit later. As of now let's focus on a specific exception that is this one. 
so we added this exception that is selector not found exception this exception is a variable of type selector not found exception now here we'll have to add some activities inside the catches block so what activities we will add here so whatever activities which you want to perform for exception recovery you will add those activities inside the catches block now first of all you should inform the user that the exception occurs and you are trying to your workflow is trying to recover from the exception you can inform the user by adding the activities to send the email log message or any other activities by which you want to inform the user here i'm going to use the log message activity to inform the user that error occurred the exception occurred and we are trying to recover from the exception so here i'll choose the log level since the exception occurred and we are trying to recover from the exception we'll go with the log level as warning and here i'll add the message so let me add the message recovering from exception and here we'll provide the exception variable so put a plus and select and add this exception variable which we created here and we'll have to convert it into string so put a dot and select two string from here so our log message activity is ready let me add a message box as well here this is just to show you the flow this is not uh, required in the final execution so here i'm going to write executing catches block and i'll add one more message box down that and here also i'm going to use this exception variable now if you put a dot here here you will see there are multiple of properties of this exception variable we can get the message of the exception by using this message property we also have the stack trace property to get the stack trace and there are different properties which you can use according to the requirement as of now i'm going to use this message property which will provide the message of the exception so after informing the user that the error occurred that the exception occurred and we are trying to recover from the exception we need to add the recovery steps as well so what are the recovery steps in this case so error occurred the exception occurred when the facebook application was getting launched that means the facebook application was not launched properly and uh, it could not execute the steps to provide email id password and click on the login steps so we'll have to perform all these activities again so what we will do we'll copy this complete sequence from here and we'll provide it inside the catches block so let me paste it here with this the catches section is ready the in the catches section we are trying to recover from the exception first we will notify the user and then we will launch we will try to launch the facebook application one more time so let me run this project one more time this time when the facebook will get launched for the first time i will close the browser again so that the exception occurs and once the exception occurs the flow must move to the catches section to recover from the exception so let's save this one and let's run this file and my project is running now i'm going to close the browser as soon as facebook gets launched so i closed the browser now the flow must move to the catches section the ui path must not terminate the workflow now which it did earlier so as expected here you see we get this message box executing catches block now since the exception occurred but as we have designed the workflow to handle the exceptions the ui path didn't terminate the workflow it moved to the catches section and now it is executing the catches section so this is the message box executing catches block let's hit okay and this is the message of the exception which got occurred it says could not find the ui element corresponding to this selector so it didn't get the element let's click on okay and now it will try to launch the facebook application provided email id password and clicked on the login button 
so our workflow worked properly even if the exception occurred it recovered from the exception and did the further executions but what if no exception occurred inside the try block will the catches section get executed in that case well no the catches section will get executed only in cases where the exception occurs in try block so if no error occurs in try block the catches block won't get executed so let me show you this one to you this time i'm not going to close the browser the try block will get executed properly that means no error will occur and the flow will not move to the catches block so let me just close this facebook application and i'll run it one more time so my workflow is getting executed facebook application got launched provided email id password and clicked on the login button now as you see no exception occurred while executing the workflow from the try section that's why the catches section didn't get executed the catches section will get executed only when there is any exception inside the try section now let me show you the concept of multiple catches in ui path as of now we have added a single exception that is selector not found exception under the catches section but there could be other exceptions as well for example since our workflow interacts with the ui elements of this facebook application there could be ex exceptions such as invalid ui element exception so we are going to add another exception under the catches section so click on add new catch exception so and from here we'll browse for types and we will search for this exception invalid ui element so let me search for that invalid ui element exception here we got this one let's hit okay so we added this exception and under this exception we are going to perform these similar activities that is to log ms to inform the user and try to recover the steps so i'm going to copy this one from here and i'm going to paste it under this invalid ui element exception same set of activities we are trying to perform under this invalid ui element exception as well so as of now as of now we added two exceptions under this catches section that is these two are the specific exceptions related to selector not found exception and second one is for the invalid ui element exception now there could be n number of other exceptions as well which could occur which you are not aware of so in that case it is a must to add one system dot exception in your catches section this system dot exception is the base class of all other exceptions all other exceptions are derived from this system dot exception hence you must add one system dot exception in your catches block and one very important thing to notice here is that when when you add this system dot exception in your catches section you must add it at the end that means the most specific exceptions will come at the top and then at the end base exception will come why so if you put this system dot exception at the top then these two exceptions will be hidden and will not be cached will never be cached that's why always put the specific exceptions at the top and the base exception at the end so we added this system dot exception and here also will perform the similar set of activities so i pasted this complete sequence here as well so this is the concept of multiple catches inside the try catch activity in this way you can use multiple catches inside the try catch activity and now that we are familiar with this try and catch section let's move to the finally section in this finally section what we do in this finally section we add the activities which are required to execute whether exception occurred or not for example we can add the clean up activities here or if required we can kill the processes in the finally section 
now in this workflow where we logged into the facebook application at the, at the end let's say that we want to close this application so that step we can add inside the finally section so what activity i'm going to use here i'm going to use this kill process or you can use here the close application activity as well as of now i'll go with this kill process and i'll provide the process name as chrome also i'm going to add a message box just to let you know the workflow steps how the workflow is navigating to finally block so let me add this message box here and here i am going to write executing finally section now in case the exception occurs in this try block the flow the workflow will move to this catch block it will execute that catch block and once the execution of the catch block is done the workflow will move to the finally block and will do the execution now in case no exception occurs inside the try block the workflow will skip this catch block the workflow is not going to execute the catch block in that case it will directly move to the finally block and it will perform the activities present inside the finally block i'll show you both the scenarios first of all let me do the execution again and this time i'm going to close the browser so that the exception occurs and ui path workflow must recover from the exception and let's quickly run this workflow so i'm going to close the facebook application as soon as it gets launched so i close this one so ui path will get the exception but since we have used the exception handling in our workflow it is going to handle the exception by moving to the catches section so as expected the workflow has moved to the catches section here it says executing catches block let's click on okay and here is the exception message which got displayed could not find the ui element corresponding to this selector so for this selector ui element is not found let's click okay and as soon as i click okay the ui path is going to launch the facebook application again which we have provided with the activities for which we have provided inside the catches section so it launched the facebook application it's going to provide the email id password and click on login and after click on login it moved to the next page so the execution from the catches section is over and the workflow has moved to the finally section here it displays the message executing finally section let's click on okay and it closed the facebook application so in this way our workflow is working fine we handle the exception using this try catch block by adding the activities under the try catches and the finally section and that's all for this session guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends and hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye